Master, we're approaching the halfway point of the colossal competition to win this incredible prize. This, not just a trophy, it's a life goal. <laughs> but who are the needy individuals desperately hoping to take it home with them? I'll tell you. Hugh Dennis! <laughs> Joe Lyson! <laughs> Lonnie Adafopi! <laughs> Mel Gedroyt! <laughs> Noel Fielding! <laughs> and look who's pulled up his little permanent pew! It's little Alex Horn! <laughs> Episode four, Alex, you having a nice time? I'm feeling very safe. Safe? One, because I'm standing next to you and you're very strong. I'm a big boy. Two, because I know I've prepared well. And three, because I'm wearing shin pads, so just in case... <laughs> <laughs> What's today's prize category? Well, get ready, because today we've asked them to bring in their most surprising picture of themselves. Surprising? Mm hmm So you're going to judge which is the most surprising picture. Yep. Whoever wins that is going to get the first big points of the show. Whoever wins the whole show will win five surprising pictures to take home. So that's brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's, mm. that's motivation, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we'll start with Joe then. What's your surprising picture? It's me in a hammock without a top on. <laughs> mm. And my back fat is pressed through the... <laughs> Do you have any more questions? Or... I certainly do not. <laughs> it surprised me and it horrified me. That's okay. a lovely start. Good stuff. Uh, it's worth noting at this point, this is show four, and in the prize category, Hugh has lost every single one. <laughs> Everything he's bought in has been universally judged to be shit. <laughs> so, let's, let's hope that he uh, ups his game a little bit tonight. It's not necessarily a surprising photograph of me. It is the use to which I put it which is surprising. Because oh. when, I, when I'm walking down the street, I get people going, oh, look, there's Hugh Dennis. So what I've started to do now in the street is put this on, and nobody thinks it's me. <laughs> <laughs> because why the fuck would Hugh Dennis be wearing... <laughs> so the one person it can't be under the mask is Hugh Dennis, which means I can do my shopping in, in comfort, apart from people... <laughs> Thinking it... I'm a bit weird. <laughs> You're right. You're right, mate. <laughs> now, what's your surprising photo? Here we are. So, um... <laughs> yeah. You look like a pervert. <laughs> It's Le Déjeuner sur l'Herbe by Manet, painted oh, in 1862. 1862. <laughs> I wish we had a picture of Manet, cos you look quite like Manet. Yes, it's been said it's by Manet. you just then. <laughs> <laughs> Surprising, Greg? It is, uh... Do you know, I don't... This is the thing. It, it isn't that surprising to me. Manet's <laughs> <laughs> put herself in that picture, and, and you might like to reflect on that. <laughs> No. What's your photo? Um, I thought I'd present you with one uh, of me as the Virgin Mary. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the Bushy ears, presumably. Yeah. Yeah. Looking a bit like Lady Di. <laughs> Hauntingly beautiful. <laughs> Lolly. So, it's funny that you said that you look like Lady Di, uh, because mine is a photo of me uh, as Lady Di. <laughs> <laughs> oh. statement about when people black up in movies. And I'll tell you this, it's a conspiracy theory about Lady Di that we've not heard before, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. She exactly. was a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you've got to make your mind up. OK, okay. I'm not putting Hugh last. Right. Um, <laughs> because... Oh, God, it's so... I think I am going to put Hugh last. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Oh, Desky. <laughs> Sorry, Desky. Uh, Boosh. I'm not surprised that Noel's in the Boosh. Noel goes into fourth place. Third. Third. No. Um... Oh. <laughs> Double denim in a painting? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not, I know double, what it's not double denim. It's not Single denim. It's a boiler suit. It's a boiler suit. It? Oh, <laughs> in that case, into first place you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second, it's old handbag over there. <laughs> OK. So we're in first place. And first, of course, what wonderful news, Princess Diana's alive. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the puppy. Let's make some episode headway. What's next, Alex? OK, uh, we are going to hopefully get high and wet. Great. Yes, your favourite. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Lolly. That's so good. That sun's fucking bright. <laughs> How do you focus this thing? No, the sun can't read that. Make the... Make the highest splash. It's the most useless telescope I've ever seen. It makes it the same size <laughs> as the thing that's a long way away. Make the highest splash. You have 15 minutes and one attempt. Before you commence the task, you have to say who you think will win the task. Those who correctly guess the winner will win an extra five points. Your time starts when Alex blows his whistle. Who do you think is going to make the highest splash? I think I'm going to get make the highest splash. It's between Lolly and Hugh. Is it? Yeah. Who do you think is going to make the highest splash? Me. Who? who? Me. Lolly had a phobie. Yes. Who do you think is going to make the highest splash? Mel. OK. I think I'm not sure about Noel. No. <laughs> I'd like to think it'd be me. <laughs> the highest splash? 15 minutes? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> that was sad, wasn't it? <laughs> And they said, who's your best friend? And oh. I went, now. And they went, who's your best friend, Mel? And she went, not no. <laughs> not no. <laughs> he, he often wears things like feathers. Yeah. And in my mind's eye, I saw a big old splash and a sort of drowned, feathery... Crow. And that worried me. Yeah. I'll tell you, it won't be. Sorry. That swat who dresses like a crow. <laughs> you seem pretty angry with the telescope, Hugh. <laughs> well, I couldn't see through it. Yeah. And that seems to me like a fairly fundamental purpose of a telescope. I mean, you might be interested to know, all of you, that no one asked you to look through that telescope. <laughs> <laughs> so they had, uh, they had one attempt each, but they could test their splashing equipment. So they could have multiple uh, practice splashes. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. And we're going to start with all the men. Good luck. Off to the shed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that'll be good, isn't it? <laughs> Is this making anyone feel like they need a wee? That went quite high. You ready? Yep. Bam. There we are. Beautiful. All right, watch yourself, because I've got a bowling ball. Good luck, Joe. Thank you. You ready? One attempt, you. Good luck.
beautiful just to see you soaked. I didn't sort of think the water was going to come out. <laughs> yeah, funny old game, isn't it? <laughs> Throwing a bowling ball into a bucket of water, mm. and out it comes. <laughs> You were all going, what's Hugh doing? He was, I'll tell you what he was doing. He was doing what my dad used to do. Which he, was, he was dropping a plumb line for absolute oh, accuracy. Is that, oh, is that which what is what all dads do before <laughs> they totally miss a fucking book. <laughs> 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 <Completely. laughs> I wanted to go higher in the thing, but I was told to stop. Because yeah. it was uh, uh, You're 55. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you very cleverly raised the bucket up, giving yeah. yourself extra height, as mm. Noel did as well. You got to six foot two. Splash. Oh, that's how tall I am. It's the exact same height as you, whereas Hugh got 18 inches, which is the same height he was when he was born. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've had to go metric for Noel, because it didn't go big enough. F five metres ten. Oh. God almighty. So I've stopped proceedings in such a frustrating manner, but it's time to take a commercial break. See you in a whole bunch of seconds. <laughs> Welcome back. It's good to see you again. We are partway through a task. Alex, can you remind us of the current situation, please? I can. They're trying to create the highest splash, and the boys had varying degrees of wet success. Knowles being the best degree, degree of, of wet, wet success. success. <laughs> so let's see how uh, Mel and Ollie got on, the ladies. I'm gonna get the ladder and hose. Right, hosey, please. Hosey? Hosey up the, up the tower, as they say. Thanks, my darling. Right, hang on. No, look. This is a splash against the house. There! That's a splash. OK, go. Yeah. See that? Oh, yeah. Here we go. There she blows. Are we splashing the clock? Oh, yeah. Yes. Did that get it? Yes. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Halfway up the clock, that one. Thank you, Mel. Yeah. Enough now. Thank you. Thank you. Your time's up. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> Whew. Still think Lolly's going to win? I think this could be possibly an all female. <laughs> Don't want to be smug, though. But quite, yeah, quite pleased with that. That's quite high, isn't it? I'm going to have to ask my assistant to clarify what a splash is. OK, a splash is to cause liquid to strike or fall on something in the regular drops, on something. So the splash would have to be measured from uh, the water hitting something and coming off? Officially, yes. Right. Are you worried that Lolly sprayed? I think Lolly's worked out for herself what happened. <laughs> Lolly sprayed into the air and caused a splash, but that splash came off the ground. In which case, Lolly's was a lower splash than Hugh's, weirdly. Uh, weirdly, it was, because Aww. she used her brain, but just what? not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a more fundamental question? You wouldn't let me climb any higher up that tower, but you're very happy to let Mel spray a hose pipe of water near an electrical power line. <laughs> Mel uh, sprayed the clock. We're happy with that? Or splashed the clock? Yeah, of course, because the splash came off a high surface. So she splashed the clock. Three o'clock on the clock was uh, four metres fifty. So not as high as Noel's metric five ten. Oh. So... What? Did the crow win? <laughs> <laughs> he wins literally and morally. Ah, for the crow! <laughs> To summarise the final scores for Well, that just round? to say the three people who voted for themselves did worse. So it was Lolly in fifth, I'm afraid, then fourth Hugh, Joe third, Mel second. 
The Crow! The Crow! What's the scoreboard? Well, it's very tight, except for Hugh. Um, there are... <laughs> <laughs> there are three leaders, and Lolly's just behind them. It looks like this. Joe, Bang. Mel and Noel on seven now. Look at that. <gasps> wow. Wow. Tight. <laughs> tight, tight, tight. I think I'm ready for another task. Oh, sorry, I think my, um... <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> apparently, this, uh, this means... Yes, it's time to dance, Greg. <laughs> That's a green screen. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Lolly. My old friend, green screen. It's like a big snooker table. Is it? Mm hmm. Hmm. Is that that? Oh. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Choreograph a dance for you and Alex to perform to any of the following ringtones Apex, By the Seaside, Night Owl, Playtime, Radiate, Censure. Circuit, crystals. Uplift, marimba, strum. Xylophone. <laughs> you have 30 minutes to prepare. Most stylish dance wins. Your time starts now. Yeah. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Boom, three, let's go! I like this. It's cheeky, isn't it? Like baby dinosaurs. Are we really going to hate the song by the end? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Mm, it's very male. 96. 104. <laughs> Why'd you get on the table, mate? <laughs> Mind your own business. <laughs> that, was, that was 1996 for you. Oh, man. awesome. Bang in. Barely remember it. <laughs> That's all the old whistles, bandanas, yeah. Yeah. trance just came in. The whistle. <laughs> sort of blow the whistle, bring it all back. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like that? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I thought you were just stopping me talking. No, you mentioned. <laughs> 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 Hey. If only we'd known it was that easy. To you. <laughs> <laughs> Do we see a raving? We can start with yeah. the. Yeah, let's see yeah. a raving. There is an unfortunate amount of my flesh in this one. <laughs> Near the end. So oh, is, this just... the, is this our dance? Yes. What did you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it was? Yeah, it wasn't the other thing we did. <laughs> so this is Mel's dance. Is, is this, this censure? Censure is. <laughs> <laughs> what we were looking for, I think Alex will agree with me, is the 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 beauty of censure yes. contrasting the gritty urban landscape of mid nineties. <laughs> Yes. Pre rave Britain. Oh, yes. yeah? yeah. <laughs> the only problem was it wasn't Century, it was Radiate. But apart from that. <laughs> you yeah. read the CD wrong, but it was, yeah. <laughs> so there were, there I, were I, two I back alleys yeah. in that video. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to have a look at Alex's back alley? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine that in his back alley there's a <laughs> tiny <laughs> Mel and Alex dancing. Mm. <laughs> We're going to listen to some censure now. <laughs> Pretty nice, wasn't it? Easily done, isn't it? Yeah. Noel Fielding chose censure, and oh, this is his dance.
to see it. I wanted to capture the cheekiness of the music. <laughs> Hence the little shrew move. Oh, it was a shrew. It was more of a stoat when Alex did it, did but that's best. OK. I'm not sure why we were in Covent Garden. So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember requesting that. <laughs> To be a little shrew <laughs> in Covent Garden. <laughs> and just like that is the end of part two. See you shortly. <laughs> Hello, and thanks for returning to Taskmaster. Before the break, five comedians were choreographing dances to ringtones. Who's up next, Alex? Two of them picked the same ringtone, so we've edited their dances together. And their names. They are Joe Adafopi and Lolly Lysit. Ready? <laughs> ah! Alex! <laughs> it's okay though, because friendship is truth, and I believe you in your other way. Really moving narrative in yours, I thought. Mm. When you made that little mistake, I thought that that was a genuine mistake, but it was part of your choreography. And then I said, friendship is truth, and I believe in you all the way. OK. Mm. What do you mean, friendship is truth? Um, sort of, friendship is truth, truth is friendship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I see. <laughs> Was there a message you were hoping to convey? It looked to me like it was a couple of guys bouncing around and then a plane flying down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what it looks like. <laughs> what I was trying to convey with it is that friendship is truth. <laughs> <laughs> so that only leaves Hugh. Here's what happened. a laugh on this show and and it's uh, supposed to be a light-hearted thing but i also know that when you put an effort into something especially putting yourself out there creatively that um one has to deal with it sensitively however <laughs> <laughs> on this occasion horseshit <laughs> well, <I'll> be... <laughs> Smashing into last place. <laughs> uh, I stuck Joe in uh, fourth place just because of the absolute nonsense that Lolly tried to spin about friendship being truth. I just felt like the least she'd made an effort. Um, <laughs> I cannot split the the, work, the two works of art that I saw there. That's going to be a joint first. So it's a joint first. You're cool. A second first. <laughs> Right, next task. Yes, so this one involves loo roll or toilet paper, but never loo paper. Here oh, we go. God. <laughs> oh, look. A T and an M made out of toilet roll. Nice, like it. Thank you. It's a powerful image. Excellent. 
create a portrait of a celebrity using Lurong. There is a camera above your head. The map beneath your feet is your canvas. Best portrait wins. You have 20 minutes. And... Your time starts very much now. So it's like big art attack. Are you an artistic person? Jo? Um, well, in some ways, but I've never used uh, it's to, these, this as a tool before. So I guess choose a celebrity first of all. OK. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to think about that for a minute. Um, Should I think of someone who's got noticeable features? It would be easy to do a new role. Done. Thank you. You pleased? I think so. I reckon it's going to be quite accurate. OK. Are you an artistic sort of man? No. no. We look at Lolly Adafopis first. Yes, please. Okay, you can try to work out who that is. <laughs> if I hadn't seen the bubble, Gandhi. <laughs> but you're ruling out Gandhi because there's a bubble. What's the, what is that? This is Akio. 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 I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I presume that's something from the uh, repugnant Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's a nice picture. I'm not sure you... how much it looks like Harry Potter. But... OK, you can see uh, Hugh Dennis, if you want. This yes, is his, his picture. You can guess again who it is. Oh, that's Ooh. good. Well, the first thing I will say is it's nice to say something positive to Hugh. Thanks. That is a beautiful picture. It's lovely. Yeah, really? depending on who it is, <laughs> you, my friend, could be back in the game here. I think it's Hugh Grant. <laughs> well, the clue is you left the room and you came back with a yeah. £5 note. It's the Queen, isn't it? It is, weirdly, the Queen. <laughs> Amazing how quickly you can pull defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> Who's next? Noel. Oh. Wow. Well, I think that's the self-portrait of Noel Fielding. <laughs> Really wonderful picture. I love it. <laughs> Joe Lysett did this with his loo rolls. Ready, Greg? Yeah, let's have Here a look. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> There's a clue there for you, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> Is it Pam? <laughs> <laughs> Pam. Pam. Lor Anderson. <laughs> no, no. I know who it is. It's uh, um. Pat. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Pat but it's the actress that plays Pat Butcher. It's Pam St. Clements. Pam St. Clements. It is Pam, Pam St. Clements. Yeah, well, well recognised. It's Pam St. Clements. <laughs> this is Mel's attempt. <laughs> Tough. Tough guess, this. John Lennon. Nope. Is it God? Nope. Do you want to try God's son? Jesus? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> it's... Can you remember? Chris Christopherson. No, 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 it's Barry oh. Gibb. It's, it's Barry Chris Gibb, you said. No. It's Barry Gibb. <laughs> Do you want to see all five together? I think Hughes would be a clear winner if it looked anything like the Queen. <laughs> if it even looked female. <laughs> I'm going to put that third. I'm going to put Noel in first place, Pam St Clements in second, and I'm tying Gandhi and Barry Gibbs <laughs> slash Chris Christopherson in last place. OK, there we go. <laughs> OK, fine. So the winner was Noel Fielding. <laughs> Let's uh, crack on. What's next, Alex? Right. Well, it's like gymnastics, but with a task. So it's sort of gym, gym. It doesn't work, but it's gym task ticks. <laughs> oh. What do you call this? Um, jumping horse. Yes, it's a jumping horse. Jumping Jack? Because they do that thing, don't they? Moscow, 1980. Very strong 
on the old... Uh... What is, is this a pole? No, it's not a pole vault, it's a, a horse. <laughs> Do the most incredible thing with this pommel horse. <laughs> you have ten minutes, your time starts when you next blink. <laughs> oh. oh, no, you're going to... No. When you next blink. <laughs> what if I never blink? <laughs> oh, imagine if I did this for four hours. <laughs> I'm a snake. I've got see-through eyelids. Uh, OK. Is that a blink? Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK. <laughs> oh, I think I blinked. Yeah, there was a little one there. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, there, we're off. Oh, uh, we're off. Uh, yeah, OK. Your time starts when you next blink. Oh, you blinked immediately, Matt. Did I? Yeah. OK, ten minutes to go. <laughs> so, what, what are we asking God. for again? Just remind me. Uh, something incredible involving the pommel horse. Incredible. We're going to start off with the athletes, Hugh and Lolly. There you are. Um. I don't know. I just really like doing that. I'll carry on doing that as long as you want. Well, we've got two more minutes if you want to have Oh, okay. God, I'll have another go, yeah. I did think that was incredible. I did think. Mm. 11 leaps in 10 minutes. <gasps> yeah. I didn't manage to stand up. It was because the, the, um, if I'd done it straight onto the concrete... <laughs> 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 but they wouldn't let me because of a health and safety <laughs> issue. <laughs> Lolly. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Just to put it in context, she watched a video of the London 2012 Olympics gymnastics before what she did. You genuinely did that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me put forward a hypothesis. <laughs> If you'd have come out and just stood by the pommel horse and done nothing, that would have been more incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Joe took a very different approach. Did he? Yeah. What's it meant to be? No idea. Oh, yes. Big old horse D. <laughs> OK, uh, that, that is finished, actually. Mm. What it is, is it's a piece of modern art. It's a very sad scene. This horse was ridden here by an elderly gentleman who's gone to go and collect something, forgotten to take the zimmer, and has died. <laughs> it's a great allegory for our age. Shall I go now? I suppose so. <laughs> Why is the horse wearing wellies? Because it's wet out, isn't it? OK. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was really moved by the story of the old guy. Mm. I just wonder if you think, story. on reflection, that the sadness inherent within that story was slightly diluted by the weird pommel horse, welly wearing, tennis racket, dick, <laughs> cone horse. <laughs> I think, if anything, that adds to the beauty. How so? <laughs> I think if I put it into words, then the beauty will be diminished. <laughs> Sadly, it's time to say goodbye to part three. It's all about part four now. We'll see you there in a minute. What's going on, then? Well, they were trying to do something incredible with a pommel horse. Mm. Mm. Lolly and Hugh went for the classic athletic approach. Joe did something else. Uh, we're now going to have a look at... I'm going for this. Pommel Gedroich. Pommel... OK, ready? Pommel oh, Gedroich. Like it's a little it. pun. So what a pun. waste of everyone's time. Let's go. <laughs> Where did it go? I'm not going to say. That is some pretty Las Vegas shit. <laughs> Using camera trickery, you managed to make a pommel horse disappear. Mm. Sorry, really enjoyed sorry. It. You said the words camera trickery. Yeah. Did you see the pommel horse after that? Did anyone see it? No, it's gone. Did you see it? Well, in I the was house? there, so don't ask me. I was there, so I yeah. saw it being moved by the people. So don't <laughs> You awesome. are out of the magic circle. <laughs> <laughs> the last pommel performer is Mr. Noel Fielding. Achieved through camera trickery, or did uh, the people bring you on? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was actually magic. That one. Yeah, it's really great. Hang yeah. on, and mine wasn't. Yeah, that one. He he did that dressed as a Russian peasant woman, and I turned. <laughs> I turned from a pommel back into me. <laughs> You've got to judge this, I'm afraid, Greg. Right. Obviously, I'm putting Lolly in last place. That goes without saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> then I'm going to put Horsey. <laughs> I'm going to put Horsey D in the little Russian peasant woman that is in joint next place. OK, joint yeah, third. Yeah, and then I'm going to put the best performance by far in joint first place with the pity vote for Hugh jumping over the pommel horse. OK, so one point to Lolly, three points to Joe and Noel, and then five points to Mel and Hugh. Correct! OK! <laughs> What the scores? It's tied at the top with Mel and Noel, one point separate. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, wow. Right, up you get. There's one more thing to do. Please head to the stage for the final task of the show. <laughs> Let's find out what the task is. Noel, would you please read this week's final task? There we go, Noel. Thank you. Mate, the highest tower using these tubes, you have <laughs> 100 seconds. Mm -hmm. Mate, the highest tower. We're going to measure the tower from the base of the tower to the top of the tower. Yep. Good luck. Yep. Your time starts. Good <laughs> attention. Very tense, very tense. 
Keep your eye Yeah, yeah, I can touch. Still one minute left. You're just keeping an eye, are you? Keeping an eye? Oh, just from the table, from the table. From the tip of the, from the bottom of the thing to the top of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, oh. There's 20 seconds, there's 20 seconds. I guess we've got three here. We've got three with uh, Mel, three lengthwise high. You've got a choice between the two or the, uh, the tower. Uh, no, they're, they're joined. Oh. <laughs> they're the same thing, you I mean, see. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> well, no, every, every atom in the... <laughs> we've got a, a choice with lollies. Are we going to the Stonehenge or the double horsey D? <laughs> um, the one that's higher. Two there. So two, two, three. Well, basically, uh, Mel and Hugh have got three. The others have got two. Simple right, that. there we go. Yeah. 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 Well, now, let's see that's the final scores. <laughs> well, pretty impressive uh, tower tasking. In a way, it was probably the most cautious task we've ever had. It was very cagey. Yeah. A cagey fight rather than a... Cage fight, but um, <laughs> the joint third we've got Noel, Lolly, and Joe. But the two joint winners of that task was Hugh and Mel. Lovely. I'm going to tell you uh, the series scores. It's the exact midpoint of the series, yeah. And the scores are disparate. Uh, Hugh at one end with Lolly and Noel way off in the distance. That's 78 points after four shows. <laughs> Four shows left, still all to play for. But, you know, this is all very well. Let's celebrate tonight's winner. Uh, those tubes meant that uh, overtaking Noel at the very last minute was Mel Gedroich. We can see her here. <laughs> With her second win of the series, the winner of five surprising pictures, it's Mel. Please go and collect your prizes! <laughs> we learned today? Well, we've learned that friendship is truth. That some horses have a tennis racket instead of a big old D. <laughs> and some Russian peasant women turn out to be Noel Fielding. <laughs> okay. That was episode four of Taskmaster. Thanks for watching. Well done, Mel, and goodbye! <laughs>